guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree shop with me and also a haul. I went to my local Dollar Tree to see what I can find. I'm really bummed though I did not find any of the new things that everyone else is finding. I've been watching so many other people's shop with me and hauls from Dollar Tree and seeing what's new at their local Dollar Tree. And there was a ton of things that I really wanted to get my hands on but unfortunately my Dollar Tree pretty much had nothing. They had everything that they already had. I think maybe one or two things were new but other than that was pretty much the same thing but I still took you guys along with me because they do have all the Christmas stuff out or at least majority of the Christmas stuff out so I did pick up a few things so I'm gonna share with you guys what I got from Dollar Tree. This video is also going to be in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube Gina. Over on Gina's channel, she does a lot of DIYs, couponing, and saving money tips on how to save money when you go shopping. So if you guys are looking on how to use coupons the correct way, then you need to check out Gina's channel. She is a pro. She is always uploading new Shop With Me videos. She goes to different stores and shows you what deals they have and what coupons you can use from paper coupons to apps to mobile coupons. So definitely head over to Gina's channel and show her some love. She's also going to be doing a Dollar Tree shop with me and haul so you can kind of see what I was able to find at my local Dollar Tree and you'll also be able to see what she finds at her local Dollar Tree and what she decides to purchase. Gina is super sweet and I love her. So please remember to head over to her channel and show her some love. If you're coming over from Gina's channel, then hello, welcome. My name is Jillian. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little ones and I enjoy doing a bunch of different videos over here on my channel. I do DIYs, hauls, shop with me, cleaning, organizing, and occasionally I will throw in a vlog. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love to have you join my YouTube family and subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to insert my shop with me first and then I will come back and show you guys everything that I decided to purchase. This little red chalk ornament is new this year and I think it's so cute. I regret not picking it up. I thought I grabbed it and put it in my cart, but I did not. But they have a ton of really cute ornaments. So if you guys are looking for affordable ornaments, I will definitely check out your local Dollar Tree. They also have all these really cute clear and plain different bulbs that you can make so many different DIYs and even gifts for family members and friends. It's something that I'm definitely going to put on my to-do list. I think this one is new this year, at least at my Dollar Tree. I've never seen like the mason jar ones. Those are super cute as well. So comment down below if you guys would like me to start filming some Christmas DIYs for you guys.
since all these little trinket dishes are new at my Dollar Tree as well, I've never seen them at my local Dollar Tree and they are super cute and also great gift ideas. I also really love these salt and pepper shakers. I bought the ones for fall for Christmas gifts for family and friends, but I think I'm gonna pick up some Christmas ones as well. And if you guys bake, these cute little tins are perfect to put like cookies or whatever you bake for Christmas and give them to neighbors or friends or even teachers. I also really love that Dollar Tree is bringing in all of these really cute things for your notebooks and planners that even has the holes in them to put in your planners. So my Dollar Tree only has a few items, but definitely they're starting to stock up on things like this. So if you guys love to plan and write out in your journals, I would definitely check out Dollar Tree. They have a ton of really cute things. And these signs are also new at Dollar Tree. And I think they're so cute, especially for little girls' rooms. I love them. I didn't pick anything up for my daughter's room, but these are really cute for little girls. So we have little girls. And also these little canvases, they're also new. And I think they are adorable. And how pretty are these wine glasses? I think they're so gorgeous. If my daughter did not break everything, I would definitely set up my table for Christmas and purchase these wine glasses to put on the table. But my daughter destroys everything. They also have these really cute margarita and also martini glasses. So if you guys drink, or you don't even have to drink, you can put anything in these cups. These are super cute. I didn't buy any of them, but I think they are adorable. And especially if you have a lot of get togethers. Okay, so the first few things that I'm gonna show you are going to be Christmas items. I did pick up a few of their Christmas items that they've already put out. I do wanna go back so I didn't go too crazy, but I bought about five packs of these Christmas bulbs. And I'm gonna link it down below. Last year, I made a, a huge wreath for my front door. It was a Christmas wreath. And I used all of these bulbs. So there's different colors and styles. So as you guys can see, there's like different designs. These are glitter. This one has like a texture on it. So, so pretty. And then these are just plain gold ones. Then these are all gold, like glitter ones. And then I bought these, which are more of like a rose gold. And then it has silver glitter bulbs. And they're also different sizes. So some are like medium, some are large, and some are pretty small. But I bought a few packs of these. I'll probably need to go back for more. Um, because my wreath that I made last year, my daughter got a hold of it. And she was able to take off a lot of the bulbs from my wreath. So I need to replace some of the bulbs and then also i want to make another miniature um christmas little wreath so i needed some more of these bulbs so i bought five packs of those next few things are going to be christmas boxes i love buying my christmas bags and tissue paper and all that stuff from dollar tree because it's so cheap and if you were to go to any other store you would pay double or triple so i bought three boxes so this one is the largest one really cute it has a reindeer and a little sleigh with the elf and then on the side, it says Reindeer Barn, home of Dasher, Prancer, Comet, Donner, Dancer, Vixen, Comet, and Blitzen. It's just so cute. And you open it up and you can put like a little gift in there or whatever you would like to use it for. I bought them to um, use as gifts, like to put gifts in to give away for Christmas. I know a lot of people use these for decor, like they stack them. But yeah, that is the first one I bought. And then I bought a medium size one. So this one has, it says days until Christmas with a cute little clock on top. And it's like a little um shop or is it a shop? Or no, it's actually Santa's house. So it says home sweet home, Santa and an elf. Super cute. So this one is a medium size. And then this one is the smaller size. And this one just says 
Hot Cocoa Cafe, and this is Mary and Bright on the side. So super cute. This is the smallest one they had, or at least that I could find. They're so adorable. I love them. So I can't wait to use them for Christmas to give Christmas gifts in. I don't know what I will put in here yet, but I can find something to put in these boxes. Then I believe this is the last Christmas item that I bought, which was just this little nutcracker. My mom loves nutcrackers. She's obsessed with them. She has them all over her house, but she has like the really large ones. I don't think she has any smaller ones. So I found this one. This one's really cute. It's red and he has like glitter on him. And I just thought that he was super cute and he actually opens. I know some nutcrackers that you buy from Dollar Tree, you can't actually like open his mouth and stuff. So yeah, that is that one. I'm going to give this to my mom for Christmas. The last few items are just going to be random things that I decided to grab. The first thing is this wreath and I've never seen it in a pack of two. These are like mini ones. I've seen like they have like a um, medium sized one and then like a larger size one and they usually sell them separately just like single. I've never seen them in a pack of two so I thought that was a really great deal for two for a dollar so I grabbed that and I'll probably make some type of cute Christmas wreath or I don't know I'll do something with it but I thought that was really good for only a dollar. And then I bought three of these display easels. They're just black. They come in, I think, black, gold, and silver. I could only find the black ones at my Dollar Tree. So I bought three of them because I'm going to be making some DIYs and gifts on these canvases that I bought. And I needed something to like prop it up when I give it as a gift so they can display it. So I just bought three of them. The next few items I'm so excited that I was able to find again. I bought these probably like a year ago and I needed more to fill a vase that I had and they just never brought them back or at least my local Dollar Tree never brought them back and they finally just now brought them back so decided to buy three packs and they're just like these little wooden um balls I don't even know what you would call them it just says decoration on it but this one has six and they're like miniature ones and there's like a creamy white color and then I bought two packs of the larger ones and the larger ones have four. And these would be so expensive if you were to go to like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, stuff like that. You would definitely pay more than $8 for these packs. So yeah, I bought two packs of those and then one pack of the mini ones. Last few items is just gonna be stuff for the kids. So I bought this bath bomb, it's by Crayola. I bought two of them. I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree, so I think they are new. So I bought this one. It's a red bath bomb. It says very cherry scent. So it goes from red to blue to purple, which I thought was so cool. And it's the Crayola brand. And then I bought the blue one. The blue one says it's blueberry blast scent. It goes from blue, yellow to green. My kids are going to love these. Ryan loves bath bombs. So I grabbed two of them. I think they had a pink one, but I only grabbed the red and the blue one. And then I bought some more Band-Aids. Ryan's obsessed with Jurassic World. I know I mentioned it a million times, but he really loves Jurassic World. So I've never seen Jurassic World Band-Aids at my Dollar Tree, so I grabbed a pack of those for him. Then I also bought some more of the Paw Patrol little Ziploc bags. These are really good to use for like snacks, for his lunches, or when we're out doing errands and I need to bring snacks into the stores to keep them calm. I love these Ziploc bags. They have them, I think, in is a PJ Masks as well, and then like the Disney Princesses. So I just bought one pack because I still already have some on hand. Then for Madison, I bought these 40 pack of like just like elastics. And I like these because they're small. So if I want to like do a hairstyle on her that I need a small or band, I can use these. So I thought that was a really great deal for 40, and it's the good name brand. So bought her that. And then the last thing I bought was a little sticker book for Ryan. I thought I could fill this in his stocking. I am starting to buy little things here and there for the kids for Christmas. For a dollar, I thought that was really good. So it comes with 150 stickers. And I like the first page. They're like 3D stickers. So really cool. Ryan's going to love them. He loves cars. So I just bought him that pack of stickers. Hey guys, so that is going to end my Dollar Tree shop with me and haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me to Dollar Tree and seeing what I decided to purchase. Please remember to head over to my friend Jeannie's channel and check out what she found at her local Dollar Tree. Her links will be down in my description box down below. Let her know that I sent you and show her some love. If you have not already, I would love to have you join my YouTube family and subscribe to my channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.